What's up guys? My name is Jonathan Buckhouse and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the community, we make a ton of fun snowboarding videos like the one you're gonna see today. So I always wax my snowboard with an iron, like a normal household iron, but a lot of people, like I made a couple like how to wax videos and I got a lot of hate. People were like, you're doing it wrong, you need a waxing iron. And I've, I've always thought, why do I need a waxing iron if I have an iron and they both melt the wax? So in today's video, I'm gonna go purchase a waxing iron, like a proper one, and I'm gonna compare waxing a snowboard with a regular household iron and a waxing iron and see if we can really tell the difference. Also, big shout out to Demon. They sent us a ton of wax that we're gonna use in this video and uh, super stoked. They gave us negative degree weather wax, warm weather wax, all weather wax. And uh, big shout out to those guys. I'm gonna link all their stuff down below. Uh, and Demon, thank you for uh, sending us all the wax. So we're just gonna wax my normal snowboard. This thing is beat up. You can totally tell that it needs a a wax job. Probably needs a base grind, a bunch of other stuff. This snowboard, by the way, has like over 200 days on it. So this thing is a tank. So I went out and bought a waxing iron, a WSD waxing iron. I've never used a wax iron before. Like I said, I've only used a regular iron. So I know what you're thinking. Jonathan, how are you gonna wax a snowboard with two different irons and, and, and tell the difference? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wax one side of the board with the waxing iron and the other side of the board with the regular iron. We'll look into how it drips, whether it's burning the wax, how the wax is uh, like kind of rubbing into the board, and then we'll scrape the wax and brush it and we'll take a good look at it. And then maybe I'll ride it, but I don't think riding is gonna be too like, important because I mean, one side's gonna be a different wax. I really just wanna do a, like a C test. We're gonna look and see if we really can tell a difference between a wax iron, which is meant for snowboard wax, and a regular iron, which is meant for close. We'll kind of make this in how-to as well because uh, we're gonna wax, so I might as well tell you the steps. First thing we need to do is clean the snowboard. The reason why you want to clean the snowboard is because you don't want to wax any like dirt or um, like, really just dirt or anything else on the base of the board in with the wax because then it kind of defeats the purpose of having a wax snowboard. See, look how dirty that was. We don't want to wax that in. So now we'll let that dry and we'll plug in the irons. I haven't even opened up this one yet. Unboxing! All right, this thing looks fancy. So right now, can I tell you the difference between the two irons? This one has temperature. So, the, so you can adjust what, how hot you want the iron to get. This one, you can do the same thing, but it's meant for for clothing. I always did the silk setting when I waxed my snowboards because that makes the iron not as hot. It's still hot enough to melt the wax, but it's not like crazy hot like if you were to do wool. One thing that has been nice too with this uh, standard iron is how long the cord is. Look at this. That's so far. Let's see how long this cord is. Not as long, but still pretty long. That's nice. Probably gonna peel this plastic off before we turn it on. All right, so I got the blue stuff off. I set the iron at 212 degrees. I don't know if that's too hot. I looked at the, the wax package and they didn't have a recommended temperature to uh, melt the wax. So we're winging it. We're going at the medium temperature and uh, we're gonna plug it in and then we're gonna start waxing. So we're gonna start with the regular iron um, because it warmed up first. We're using the green uh, all temperature wax from Demon. Once again, thank you, Demon. It smells actually like a Christmas tree. It's kind of it's kind of nice. I've only seen Torstein do this, but I, I, I think he like melts the wax a little bit and then he rubs the stick on there. I've never done that strategy. My strategy has always been to just uh, place it on and then drip. Oh, 
Okay, so we just finished using the regular iron. Two things to notice, it didn't smoke or anything like that. And I feel like the wax was um, came across really well and the board didn't get too hot. That's a big thing when you're iron or when you wax your board. If you make the board too hot, you can cause your, your layers to, to separate. So uh, we got one side of the board waxed right now, the other side not. So now we're going to grab the new iron and wax the other side. I will say that it's kind of more of an iron design, but there's not a really good way to set the iron down. It feels a little sketchy when I put it in places. I think I might knock it over. Or it might just be touching and catch everything on fire. All right guys, the iron's nice and hot. Let's uh, check out this new iron. I'm gonna jump on the other side because of the light. So you can see that it's the iron smoking, which means I have it up too high. We'll crank that down. Definitely probably should have iron. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say the, the big thing I noticed is just the application of the wax. This definitely melted it a lot quicker. It wasn't a really much of a drip. It was more of like a, a gush. The iron might've been still a little hot, but not only did it melt really fast on, to, on the dripping process, but when I was spreading it around, I felt like I was getting a much uh, more even spread and that wax that was already applied to the snowboard was melting and going around really like really well. So let's go outside, take a look at uh, the difference between the applied wax. So I would say after going outside and looking at it, that the side with the, the wax iron does have like a more thick slash even uh, lay on the, on the board, except for it's not that much different from the regular iron, I would say. It's maybe a, a 5% difference, nothing too crazy. I also did go heavy on the wax when applying it just so we could really see the wax on the board. We're gonna give this 30 minutes to dry and then we're gonna scrape it and then we're gonna brush it. All right guys, we came outside for this part just because it's messy. So we're gonna start with the iron side first, then we'll move over, move over to the uh, snowboard iron. We're gonna be using a plastic scraper for this part. All right, so we just scraped the iron side, scraped like butter. I think that has a lot to do with the Demon wax. So shout out to Demon. That was buttery smooth scraping that off. Cause I always use an iron and um, so that was nothing new to me and that was actually a lot easier than before. So that wax was nice. So let's do the uh, wax iron side, or not the wax, uh, snowboard iron side. Okay, so we just finished scraping with the snowboard iron side. It scraped a lot tougher, but I think we actually got a little bit more wax on this side due to the, the iron melting a lot faster. But I would say that the regular iron side scraped a lot easier and the wax came off a lot uh, smoother than the, the, the snowboard iron did. All right, now we're gonna brush it and then we're gonna take our final look at it.
All right, guys, if you take a close look, you can see. That there is no difference between a regular iron and a snowboard wax iron at least for the average snowboarder now i know professionals especially like ski racers and guys that are really 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 into their wax they melt at the right temperature they do all this stuff that that that's gonna matter but for you if you're watching this youtube video you're probably just an average joe like me and you just need a quick wax something that's gonna help you get down the mountain and honestly i think either iron will work for you it's a pretty cool experiment. I've never done one like this. And I always thought that the regular iron did just fine. And it, it only cost me 30 bucks to figure out that I was right. <laughs> so um, I recommend that if you guys have an iron that's not your mom's and you need to wax your board, go ahead and do it. Other than that, I mean, if you don't have one, you might as well just pick up a snowboard I iron um, because it's, I don't know, because there's about the same price. But with that, guys, I hope you liked today's video. We're not going to go do a ride test because i it's just going to be this it's, it's hard to tell a side of the snowboard what slides better we'd have to do full snowboards to do that review so maybe that will come in the future but if you like today's video give it a thumbs up give it a share and subscribe to the channel if you're new here we make a bunch of fun awesome snowboard content mainly daily vlogs but we're gonna jump into some of the experiments like this one guys if you like the experiment comment down below because i'd love to know if you guys enjoyed this video also, if you want any of our Evolution merch, that's linked in the description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you next time.